Hi everyone, it's Colleen Frost and I wanted to talk to you about some misconceptions in real estate about being a realtor. So misconception number one is that realtors work with their dogs in their lap. Truth? Yes, it's truth. And Lola wanted to say hello to everybody. Hello everyone, thanks for watching our video. Okay, now for the real video. So misconception number one, being a real estate agent it's easy. I mean, really, what we do is we just slap a sign in the yard, we hold an open house, I wait for those offers to roll in, and then I just cash out. I mean, it's, it's so easy. Um, truth? <laughs> no. Being a good real estate agent is a lot of hard work. It takes a lot of time, a lot of commitment, um, a lot of passion. I'm extremely passionate about what I do, um, you know, for me. Um, I may be a little, a little crazy, but um, real estate is not what I do. It really is who I am. Um, and that's kind of evolved over the last few years and I just love it. Um, and you really want someone that has the know-how of the industry, someone who has done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of transactions and really knows how to get through all of the mud and get to the closing table. You are looking for a closer. You know, it's not easy. Some of these uh, transactions become extremely heated and are very stressful for the buyer and the seller. And it takes a very savvy and good agent on both sides of the transaction to get to the closing table. Um, the other thing that I, I don't want to um, forget about is that um, you know, there is no clock time as being a real estate agent. Um, we don't work Monday through Friday, I mean, maybe some of them do, but Monday through Friday, nine to five. Um, you know, sometimes you guys may see Todd and I out, um, you know, if we're out in the neighborhood taking a walk or maybe we're out on our motorcycle um, from one to three or something like that, very randomly. I mean, I think we've done it once in the past four months, which is sad, um, but that's okay. We're, hopefully we'll do it soon. Um, but, you know, we work, I always say I work eight days a week. Um, I work, I check my emails. I have a little OCD problem with my phone. Um, I check my, my emails at 6.30 in the morning. That's the first thing I check is my emails, clear that out, check my Facebook, check my LinkedIn, check, 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 check everything, check every social media source I can. Um, and, you know, I work till 10 at night sometimes, um, just throughout the day. It's, you know, I, I try to find little, little times throughout the day that I can take a break. Um, but the best agents that are dedicated, there is no time off. There just, there isn't. But that's okay. I mean, you're either cut out for that or you're not. Um, <clears throat> misconception number two. Agents, we are rich and we are killing it on commissions. You know, um, for some, that is true. Those are the ones who are really good at what they uh, are crafted at and are um, just really professional at. But I think that the myth of, um, and I get it, some people will say to me, gosh, you make 6%. No, I, work, I wouldn't work as hard if that were the case, but it's not 6%. 6% goes to the bro main broker house, the listing broker house. Then that house has to share it with the buying broker house, three and three. Those brokers then need to share that with their agents. Those agents then, you know, with their splits with their brokers, we then have MLS dues, CCAR dues, CSS dues, TREC dues, ABC dues. All I know is that my credit card is like, it's, it's always getting charged every month for all these do, 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 do. It's continuing education, you know, um, realtors, the, the big the big ones who are working it um, you know I'm sure you guys are all spending about six figures on marketing if not more um, because you you have so many different sources and things that you have to pay for to market your properties and market your name and get your get your face out there and there's so many overhead costs and full-time um, assistants and EAs and transaction coordinators and all of those things so it's it's not that we're killing it with commissions um, and then the most important thing is remember, we don't get a regular paycheck. We could work sometimes. Um, I have buyers for two years and I'm working with them, trying to find them the perfect home. I don't get paid until we fund. So I work for free. That's a 
big risk. So it's not as, um, as glamorous as some of those uh, um, Bravo shows make it. And when you see those guys that live in the big mansions and drive the fancy cars, they've earned it. I mean, they have crawled their way from the bottom and worked all their way up to build that, just like any other profession. So, you know, I just feel that there's the saying my dad taught me that the harder you work, the luckier you get. Um, you know, so I think that's true in real estate as well. Misconception number three, agents just want the sale and eh, don't care about the client, you know, whatever. Um, it's just business. Well, for me, that is, that's, that's just a misconception. That's not the truth. Um, we all know that I had another video that um, I said that this isn't just uh, business, it's very personal for me. I take it very personal. Um, my clients are just not a database of names and phone numbers. They're real people to me, and y'all know who you guys are out there. You know, the majority of them, I love them, and I continue um, for me, it's so hard after we close because it's like a breakup. I don't get to talk to y'all as, as often and that's that's hard for me. Um, and so I love it when, you know, or maybe Todd doesn't so much, but he'll say like, please tell me we're not doing anything this weekend. I'm like, oh, no, no, no. We got invited to this. We got invited to that. And that's just my personality. Anyhow, I just, I love being around my my, uh, my clients become my lifelong friends, so um, it's not just business, and I do care. So uh, misconception number four is that all real estate agents are the same. Truth? That's not true. It's just like any other profession. There are those that are excellent at what they do, and there are those who are like, just not very good at what they do. Um, you know, I think uh, especially with the barrier, uh, the bar, um, and the barrier line to get into real estate is so low. I mean, thank goodness it was when I got in. I mean, look, I got in, so, um, you know, the bar wasn't set too high and I got in there, so. But it can be extremely scary out there because um, I'm talking to some real estate agents and they're like, hey, listen, Colleen, um, I'll get back to you after six o'clock when I get home from work. Okay, what? This, this is, this is my job, you know, I understand that some agents do this part-time, but you know, I think that with the amount of money that you're putting into this deal, you know, when you're buying and selling a house, I know for me, I'd want a full-time agent. Um, you know, I certainly wouldn't want a part-time person working on my car or a part-time plastic surgeon if I had, if I got into a car accident and I wouldn't want someone who's you know, who's going to do facial reconstruction that, you know, kind of part-time. I mean, it's kind of important. I wouldn't want a part-time attorney. Um, you know, I wouldn't want a part-time anything. I would want someone who's full-time and there's a big difference. The other thing that I think is different is that um, make sure you, you know, I, I like the way that um, we set up our group and that there's different people that are really good at what they do. They're specialists. You know, you cannot be out showing homes with buyers while you're marketing your listings and answering the phones on your listings and negotiating offers on your listings while you're negotiating offers on your other buyers contracts that you sent out and negotiating repairs and uploading um, you know stuff to Facebook and doing back backside uh, marketing for for your listings and um, handling the transactions and sending out DocuSign while you're fumbling and getting into the property to show your buyer who's looking behind you and your phone's ringing and you know so there's a big difference between different real estate agents. Um, definitely ask for referrals um, from people who have had great experiences with <clears throat> top agents. Um, misconception number five, this is my last one. If you pay your real estate agent a lower commission, you're gonna get a greater profit, right? No, that is not true. You know, this is a common belief that bargain basement real estate agents are, you know, they're, they're, what they're doing is they're lowering, lowering their commission because they're trying to attract new business. That doesn't mean that you're going to profit more. You know, um, it, it, quite honestly, uh, you're probably going to net less. Um, you're most likely going to get substandard services as opposed to full service, five-star rated service. Um, 
And I just wanted to share an analogy um, with you when I when I think about this is imagine you had five hundred thousand dollars in a suitcase and you walk into Merrill Lynch and you say you see ten financial advisors out in the hall and you say you know what I'm looking for the number one financial advisor who can guarantee I want to see stats guarantee me a ten percent return and I will pay you. 1% for that 10% return. And nine of them are like, hey, 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 listen, I'm not gonna charge you 1%. I'm gonna charge you a half a percent. And you go, yeah, really? Great, cool. So um, you're gonna grow me 10%? Well, well, no, I I, I don't have stats. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll get you like 4%. Four, four, four will that, will that work? You're like, you know, you get, like what my, my, uh, my niece says, you get what you get. So just remember that, that it's, um, it's very simple math and you may pay a couple percentage points less, but you know, you're going to end up selling and profiting that property at a discount that I can guarantee. So you deserve better. You deserve someone who is confident in charging their full commission rate and make them earn it. So those are my beliefs. Um, I hope you guys are having a great Friday and I'll talk to you soon. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can always reach me at 214-284-1080. Check out our website at ColleenFrost.com.